I'm your host, T. Mitchell Bell, and we have here in the studio Mr. Adrian Kargowski. Hey, how's it going? Right? I got it right. You got it right. Yeah. You got it right. One this for the second, one. This is the second time that you've been here. Uh, a couple yeah. years it's been since. 2011. Yeah. 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 Four? I don't know. I can't count. It's early. <laughs> yeah. Two, three. So uh, a lot of things happening, a lot of, a lot of new things happening in your life. We'll talk a little bit about that. And uh, um, first of all, uh, what do you want to play for us? Something off the new record? Let's do it new. Yeah, I okay. got a record coming out next Tuesday, so let's do it. All right. All right. This is the title track called Rome. Searched the moon life for stars. And run a corn feed to find a piece of home. Count the years in your space. After all over town is Oh, shop gone on, remain, remain. Oh, the concrete in place. For oh, new sound, new stage. Blood nor sweat on the voting face. And ask me once like there's no sense in this time tonight. Fear the things that you lost the fire like cold winter night Feel like there's nothing there to surround you Like nothing at home It's time to move on, time to grow up Time to roam Bear the salt of your name And build an empire that lasts as long as the fire And be the noble brigade Lean shoulder the orders Life there's no sense in voters but blame Cowardly games We're jealous for fame that the dime that you found was the money you made, money you made. And ask me once like this, no sense in this time tonight. Fear the things that you lost in the fire, that cold winter night. Feel like there's nothing there to surround you, like nothing at home. It's time to move on, time to go up, time to roam. There's nothing there to surround you like nothing at home When it's time to move on, time to grow up, time to roam mm, Time to roam, mm, mm, time to roam Very nice tune. That's Thank you. Really, Thanks a lot. It swings. You know? Yeah, that's a that's a rolling six eight number right there. It it, it swings. It's got a real jazzy feel to it in it, but uh, yeah, not I guess yeah jazz, but really just yeah yeah. Thanks. We um that was a pretty that when when I brought it into the studio that was a really basic, really bare bones and almost a simple and boring song. And then I brought in, um, I brought in 
the drummer was the the person that I spent the least time on stage with, and he kind of brought in this like a Ray LaMontagne kind of like a six eight like a like a swing thing to it. Yeah, and it yeah. like just opened up this entire door and what I thought was going to kind of be the filler song on the record ended up becoming the title track because we just, we just loved what came out and it, we did it live and it just, it just kind of came out and it's just one of those moments where we got to capture like creating something on the spot. And so now I try to keep that swing into it, even though it's such basic chords and it's actually a really basic song just that 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 swing to it is really what i think catches everybody so i, I love it now i i, I love used it to too. Kind of, <laughs> <laughs> used to be the song i, I kind of was like all right well i'll play this one i suppose we'll put this in, i'll put this in the middle uh, of the right. set yeah. You know? yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm not gonna direction. lead off with this one exactly. or close with it yeah. and now i lead off most times you know more than not because i i just think it's it sets the tone for the rest of the record too it's the first track on the record too and it, it just it just moves it moves. It's free. So what? What? Um, what uh, has happened in the last? A lot of stuff, huh? Three years. <laughs> so <laughs> a lot has happened in three years. I, uh, I was, I, I'm touring as much as I guess I was then, and um, I was living in Washington D.C. the last time I was here. Yeah. And I moved to Nashville, Tennessee, and um, I kept in touch with the band in D.C. And I um, got a new band in Nashville, and so I have two bands. And then I started dating someone in the middle of Michigan, uh, in Lansing, Michigan, which isn't close to any of the first two cities. Mm -hmm. And um, slowly starting to play music with her too now. So we're um, you get I'm all over the place. Frequent flyer miles or like <laughs> triple A membership. I hate uh, flying. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so. So I actually have an Enterprise Rent-A-Car <laughs> uh, <laughs> frequent uh, user card. Um, trains uh, are cool, too. I mean, Trains maybe. are really cool. I know some people that travel by train. It's not um, very fast. No. Nah. Amtrak isn't – you think about, like – I thought about doing D.C. to Chicago once, and I think it taught – it was saying 18 or 19 hours to get uh, to Chicago on the train. Yeah. And it had been awesome. We had, I had had a great time, you know, doing the internet and sleeping on the train. Like, everything would have been really easy. I mean, in terms of traveling, that's as easy as it gets. But um, 19 hours is a lot of time to kill. Yeah. Yeah, I did a, a Boston to D.C. thing once. Uh, like up down the That's an eight-hour, <laughs> nine-hour trip, too. I don't, I don't know. I just remember being thinking like oh no not another stop because there's parts where there's like not stops but there's so many stops along the way yeah the like, east coast just will kill you yeah that's that's <laughs> a long long it wasn't a fast one it was you know it was that's the local the, local y train yeah yeah just everywhere so i i was reading on i had no idea that you worked for verizon that was your previous that was where life. i was at when i was in dc i was working for verizon i was doing i was a telephone man um i was actually working on um business routers and doing internet related uh engineering <laughs> which i still actually do i do um I don't, for a company out of st louis now but i do it completely from the road which did, allows me to do this did we talk about this last time i don't even know if we did because I, I don't tell a lot of people because so. i left sprint to make my record i had no idea <laughs> that's hilarious man. I used we're to everywhere <laughs> we are everywhere i used to work on the internet uh, Wi-Fi or not Wi-Fi, but the three G stuff. You know, we, we are gonna have to nerd out <laughs> off air. Yeah. There's no way we're gonna do this on air. We yeah, are I going just to lose followers <laughs> talking about our job. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, you know, it, it, everybody has something they have to do at some point in their life. But if you're a musician, I think if you're well, if you're lucky enough to do you know music full time, um, it's it's a, really a blessing. That's for sure. You know? Well, yeah, absolutely. I and I think not even a blessing. It's almost it's it's. Well, of course, also a blessing, but it's it's um, just the, the most rare and uncommon thing now. Like, even the people I look up to musically have day jobs, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I think that was a wake-up call when I, like, looked at these people and I was like, that's where I want to be. That's an attainable goal for me mm -hmm. in the music industry. And they got day jobs. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way they can do it. Yeah. And, you know, I took um, Elizabeth Cook out of Nashville, Tennessee, and... She picked up, she's a radio DJ for XM. 
and you know she gets to work from her hotel rooms before the uh the show at night that's kind of where i got the idea to do it um during the day out of starbucks and then do the show at night you know that's kind of yeah. where i got the idea from but well it's just more than just the idea of how to do it just the idea that you need a day job to survive because there's no money in 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 music there's just it's, it's easy to re work remotely. I re worked remotely all the time. And uh, the downside is that, you know, being on call, you had to yeah. you know, spend a lot of time <laughs> working remotely. But, yeah. yeah. My, my my phone's off the hook, and I'm always attached to it. And, yeah, yeah. You know, emails come in, and <laughs> three things ding. And, and Did you ever get Paige in the middle of a show? You're playing a song, and they're like, you know, Oh, I've gotten uh, buzzed. <laughs> I've gotten buzzed. It's sitting in my pocket, and then they'll call again. And you're like, man, w set breaks in 45 minutes. Like, maybe I can call then, but they're going to want to talk for an hour because I'm not answering the phone. <laughs> so I'm screwed, man. Oh, I, we I don't know what to do. We, like, we'll they, we'll pretend I'm dead. Pretend I'm dead. I'll we'll, call them tomorrow. <laughs> we'll talk offline about that. Cause it, anyway, um, if you, in case you just joined us, uh, this Acoustic Songs Live. I'm your host, T. Mitchell Bell, and we have Adrian Krakowski here in the studio playing some songs. Two for two. You got yeah, it. man. I'm, I grew up around Pittsburgh, man. I'm used to the the, 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 the names like the... You the know, skis. The, the, yeah, you know, yeah, the, oh, like yeah. those hard names, like you, you have to know like how to pronounce. The, you know, the, so uh, the, be, the, the first polish restaurant that i've ever been to that served pierogi that my grandmother didn't cook for me was in pittsburgh it was at bloomfield bridge bridge tavern yeah um they're really the real close deal to hollers they're the real deal they man. are the real deal and they're completely different than how my grandma makes them too my mine's super super dry super butter and onion very fried yeah the that's ones how... i had were very saucy oh and yeah bbt's was very saucy very uh uh oniony too and and boiled. Like, okay well it's yeah boiled too yeah and um uh, all right, you know, totally different, maybe a different side of the country kind of thing or something. But oh, you know. we have a right here in town, Polish Hill. There's a, there's a, well, Polish Hill over at Pittsburgh, but yeah. there's also another oh, section there's, of the town. There's, like, Polish there's, Hill. there's a couple of Polish clubs here in town where the awesome. you know steel workers came and, and worked in the mills. And yep. so yeah, I, I mean, I grew up with uh, guys, you know, all the ski names. You know, they all the, moved over. I um, they work in the mills. My my girlfriend's Polish. Her last name's Brown, of course. Um, but it's it's uh, their ma her maiden uh, mother's maiden name is Stefko, and uh, and so that's very Polish. And uh, they all were mill mill and, and a minor uh, community over in uh, Pennsylvania when they moved over from from Europe. And and then I guess I'm still learning this story. But after World War II, uh, her grandfather came back, and her grandmother was like, "We're we're not we're moving to Detroit, and we are." learning how to make cars and because i don't want you to be sitting in the mills anymore so then a whole bunch of them moved over to michigan and now there's a bunch of skis and polish people in michigan too and that's they just started moving west wow chicago wow. too you know it's wow well hey let's uh yeah let's, let's play some music yeah while we're here. play some music absolutely and um, you've got a new cd yeah. out called rome it uh do. in a management team and a promotion team and yeah uh, we could talk all about the business side if okay, you want cool we can we can make it a seminar <laughs> What are you going to do for us? Uh, we'll play a song about the Ohio Valley. That sounds about like a that. good one. All yeah. right. I grew up on the banks of the Ohio River Money was short and the days were long We kept it straight but we saw something bigger Thirteen of boats to call my home Due to sunrise, dreams all gone Well, I'm built by the side of the road Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah She grew up on towns built on trust with nothing left but trade and rust. And the wind is says when the banks went bust, and that's who had for the traveling love. It's easier said than a job well done, no way to when a bottle it up. 
Well, I'm on in the north the store to put a song in you. I like I know you can mean it for what's waiting around the corner. A little thing like water taste. Hit the road when you know where the someone believes in bright lights. We're gonna shine on through the shine for me, yeah. Working out a child in a house of our own We keep paying and paying till the children are grown Get the back door locked and front porch open Waiting on a sign Some dreams kept alive by a whole lot of love No mean and potatoes with a bun in the oven Fear the things that we never said But we knew what they were on Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Nashville, well, Tennessee. Oh, I'm, I'm excited to hear the um, album version of that because uh, yeah, I'm, I'm imagining this instrumentation. You know, the kind of like the producer brain takes over. I'm thinking a lot of like, twang. Yeah, yeah, a lot of twang. Is there, there's got to be like a kazoo or something like that or a trombone. We'll do. I'll do. Um, <laughs> I could. I, that's what I heard in my head. You know, yeah. I kind of heard that. No, I'm, that I'm glad of, to hear you. You heard it on that one too. I'll tell my. I'm working with the horn section these days too. Um, Nashville, man, they just they just keep the creative juices flowing. Um, and there's a, there's a there's a group of guys down there. They call themselves the Nashville Horns, and uh, and they play with endless number of bands. Um, and I'm one of them now. And and cool. uh, and and it's really interesting to hear trombone on your songs that you've wrote on an acoustic guitar. You just never really thought the two would blend. That that whole uh, you know. Tim Pan Alley kind of vaudeville Absolutely. kind of thing, and yeah. uh, well, uh, uh, let's talk about your band because I was looking. Uh, you've got some really good players on this record. Uh, yeah, we're happy. We're uh, really happy to have them. They, they all, did they all play on this on the this record, or is that um, your your uh, your your touring ba- or the band you play with? Yeah, there's uh, for the most part the band on the record uh, is my regional band down in Nashville. Those are the those are the Nashville based band members for the most part um i brought my girlfriend in meredith uh, she plays fiddle on the record meredith brown yep and um she's uh we did a traditional so we kind of went in a different direction on the record too we, we're doing a couple of traditional tunes uh trying to trying to add a something special to the original music side of things you know was wayfaring of, stranger one of them i think or something uh, I, we're uh, actually thinking about doing oh, okay that i'm trying um, to think of which one of the, i saw uh, oh, rye, um, rye whiskey's on the record. Okay, and we've been doing Greasy Coat live. Okay, and so we're we're slowly building our uh, our traditional tunes up, and and that's kind of fun too because it kind of takes the pressure off of uh, the songwriting aspect. You get to play a song that you didn't pour your heart into. You know, every single song you can. It's 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 a cover for all intents and purposes, but it's it's. Um, it's something different. So we we did a traditional tune on the record, and Meredith played on that. But for the most part, to go back to the okay. original question, yeah, the band, <laughs> the band, yeah, uh, Paul Niehaus is is playing steel with us, um, and and lead guitar, and has been for the last two years now. And he's, man, he's great. You can't say enough good things about his stuff. Um, he, uh, I picked him up in a very Nashville traditional way. I um. I asked one steel player that I knew. He said he couldn't do it. Uh, Alex McCullough couldn't do it, so he passed me off to Fats Kaplan. Fats Kaplan can't do it because Fats is playing with Jack White. <laughs> Jack <laughs> puts me in touch with Paul Niehaus. I've never heard of Paul Niehaus before, but all of a sudden I start doing some research and he plays with everybody. So, of course, yeah, let's sign him on, right? So yeah. first rehearsal, he's ready to go, knows all the songs, writ wrote a whole bunch of solos for all the material already and first rehearsal sounded like it was ready to cut a record and i was like okay you're yeah, i'm gonna keep you <laughs> <laughs> if i can keep you i'm gonna keep you um because he's 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 doing really well for himself he's playing with justin and i think he uh you know 
recently, until recently, he's been playing with Calexico for many, many years. Lamb Chop. He was. Uh, he's his his all music account is is longer than my my resume. Oh yeah, a long shot. Yeah. So it's been it's been great to have him on board. And then um, we were looking for a bass player, and uh, my management did some research, and and same kind of thing was he was just hanging around the local club called the Five Spot, and that's kind of where everybody's in town. Um, and uh, he was just looking for acts, and the only other guy he was playing with was Chris Scruggs, who is Earl's grandson. Wow. And um, which you'd think is is enough, but you know, guys got to work, and that's all they do, and so they're just looking for work, and and uh, and so we started working with him, and and then that was the band for a good year, and then we decided to cut this record, and uh, there's guys that trade in and out, you know. I'm low on the totem pole still, definitely, you know, uh, especially when. You talk about guys like Chris Gruggs and Justin Towns Earl. Yeah, you know they when they say they got to go to a tour in Europe, then they're going to a tour in Europe. They're not doing a local regional show with me. So yeah, well, um, where did you make the record? There. Yeah, we made it. Um, that was actually a really interesting story that that I hope to do again, but I don't know if I ever will. Um, we recorded as a part of a uh, a analog tape recording class at the oh, wow. Art Institute of Nashville. And so it was a bunch of senior class members at the AIN and um, a uh, Grammy-winning producer <laughs> that taught the class and taught how to use the, the two-inch tape machine. Oh, wow. And so we cut it to tape because they were literally just looking for a band to record for their class. Oh, and, awesome. Um, that was, man, I, I couldn't have praised management enough for that one. That was a big break for us because we... We got a pretty good deal out of it, you know. We um, they were looking for us instead of us looking for them, and and so we had some leverage. And so, the record is 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 in a good place because of a lot of just because of that. But that being said, we we did, did the whole thing in two sessions, so the whole thing is cut live, and um, you know, with a bunch of senior college kids behind the control room, pressing dials and numbers and. Awesome. We didn't know. We had no idea it was going to be a record. We were just, we've been playing for a year or two, and we were like, okay, we got this opportunity. Let's make the most of it. And so it you, was good enough to cut, so we, we made it a record. You put it out on vinyl, too, I see. that. Not yet. Um, yeah. That's still in progress. The CD's... The CD release is on January fourteenth, so we're gonna we're gonna split the release and try to milk, <laughs> try to milk it for all we can. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, try to do a double release this year. It'll be the same record, but it'll be a CD release and then a vinyl release. And yeah, yeah, we had you know when you're tracking live to two inch tape analog. I mean, for the audiophiles in the audience, that's that they're all happy right now. But for the most part, most people probably don't even know the difference between you know, cutting analog versus Pro Tools, but to it, it's a big difference in how you approach recording. You don't you don't you don't get to go back nearly as much and you don't get to change nearly as much. You you have to play the songs the way the songs are gonna be done. And so it, it just changes the whole aspect. And so if we were gonna if we were gonna go vintage on the recording process it would it seemed just right to to go a route of vinyl. So yeah, we're still. That's taking some time. That's yeah. taking some time. There's a whole different process that goes into that. That that uh, everybody's learning about the master, the mixing, mastering, <laughs> the mixing, and, max, uh, mastering, you know. the the master, the glass masters. Um, you know who can do it and what kind of turnarounds and there's. It's just a different beast. It's my first vinyl, really. Yeah. So I've never um, I've never gone through the process before. So it's. Uh, it's it's been a challenge so far, but we're gonna we're gonna get it done. Yeah, we're gonna get it done. Uh, the place down in Nashville that does a lot of the vinyl, they have the recording, uh, they have the live uh, room up above it. Um, trying to think of the name of it. Uh, There's a couple places I know. Pir well, Pirates are the ones that we're working with, but they're based out of Portland. There's United Pressing. United Pressing, yeah. yeah they, so United, every a lot of people are using United, um, and yeah. and they're highly sought after for good reason. They're they're great. They're great. I know uh, we talked about Elizabeth Cook. She just did a, a dual release with Jason Isbell over at United. And, you know, everybody's there. 
Everybody yeah. knows where they are. Yeah, yeah. So. I, that's that's the one place I checked and looked at the pricing of getting vinyl done, and I was like, whoa, okay. I get- it's different, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a different pricing model. And Can so. I pre-order these, like, maybe five at a time? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, uh, you know, the learning curve has been a lot of uh, speaking with other musicians. And that's kind of one of the biggest assets to living in Nashville is you get to just have – this conversation that you and I are having with other musicians of all different caliber and different history, like everybody from Elizabeth and Jason all the way down to guys that are just doing open mics, you could just talk. You can have a good conversation with somebody that understands. And so um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Patrick Sweeney at all, but he's... Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, Yeah, he's he's, he's from this area. He plays... Ohio. He's from Ohio originally. Um, He would play around here a lot. Oh, I'm sure he has. He's played everywhere. um, uh, He's got quite an interesting story for people to look up, but um, he he was one of the guys I talked to and, and just, you know, how much does vinyl sell? What markets does vinyl sell in? You know... How different is it than T-shirt sales? You know, just just ideas from people that really know people that have vinyl on 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 their merch table, and know how to price it and how to get it moved and and so that's been more of the learning curve for the vinyl process than than just signing the order form. Really. Well, the cool part is is when you meet those people that are willing to share that information with you yeah. in a camaraderie of like, okay, this is how I did it. There, there, not everybody's like that. A lot of, you know, it's like, Hey man, figure it out on your figure own. I had to, own. you know, uh, and you're, and you're like, you know, you're spinning around trying to, and then you, you meet somebody that's generous with uh, advice like that. And it's really, yeah, it's, absolutely. it's better than gold. You know, it's, but, uh, before we get into another song here, yeah. um, just one last thing on Nashville, you know, when I moved, when I moved down there, I didn't know, I had an idea, but I didn't know. People are just so nice and so easy to talk to down there because it's just everybody wants to know what each other are doing. It's kind of like a little okay. high school in town, you know. People yeah. want to know who's in town and who's making moves. And so they're all very friendly to make sure that you uh, are part of the system and they know who you are and you know who they are and, and that kind of stuff. So they are very, very welcoming to talk to you about a lot of different stuff. And then there's that cutoff where they're like, exactly like you said, they're like, yeah, we gave you enough advice on that. I'm not telling you anything more anymore. You know, we're, we're, we're gonna, I, I gave you what I can. I'm not telling, telling you anything more. I heard, I heard a guy at the, uh, I was doing a thing at the bluebird and, uh, as my last little thing about that is that um, he said uh, he said he loved it because the lunatics get to run the asylum. <laughs> <laughs> God, the, that's so true. The songwriters get uh, the yeah. It's so true. It, whether you're talking about songwriters or whether you're talking about the business, either way, it's true. It's totally true. Yep. All right, more new songs. All these songs so far have been on the record too. So this is this is more or less the the, the first couple tracks off that record that's getting released on Tuesday. So okay, all right. Baby, I heard the sirens and I brought the book. Baby, when they told me I was still no good. She ain't away of saying what she should So don't tell me you're sad it's over You tried hard to make me a better man You'd be lucky if we met at 3 a.m. So take the high road, take the low, we ain't got plans And don't tell me you're sad it's over Roll in westbound in a town on the Cadillacs Past the classrooms and the old smokestacks First time kissing under arrow tracks And I miss the old day A lot of time has passed so Five years gone and I can still feel the same Baby, you love the snow And honey, I bring the rain We'll spin this whole thing around Till we forget what remains Yeah, and cry all on my shoulder 
Midnight runs to the county liquor store Where failed intuition kept me from the door Cause we could still find some love In this cold bathroom floor And cry your heart my shoulder Rolling westbound in a town on the Cadillacs For town of rumors, town of facts First time kissing under arrow tracks And I miss the old days A lot of time has passed Back to the drawing board, back on the farm Yeah, I still believe in love Baby, third time's a charm And as hard as it is Knowing I might still do wrong She leaves the light on Wants to see when I hold her Yeah First time kissing under arrow tracks Now I miss the old day a lot of time is past. Very nice. What was the name of that tune? Thanks a lot. That's um that's a song called Wisconsin Part Two. <clears throat> um and uh again that one's on the new record and um I have a song called Wisconsin on my first record that I released called Road on the Left back when I was going by the name Adrian Hardcore uh, because I thought that um, nobody could pronounce my last name, so I went by Adrian Hardcore for a while. But now I'm going by my name, Adrian Krigowski, and uh, if, if you guys can't figure it out, Google helps you a lot these days. So. <laughs> uh. It's a lot easier now. Um, just put the first couple letters in, and I think you're halfway there. Uh, but the first record had a song called Wisconsin on it, and it was a really angry, upset song, and it was probably the most angry and upset song I've ever written about, of course, an ex-girlfriend. Breakup songs, yeah, man. Yeah, of course. It's, yeah. Man, it's a deep and dark hole that you, you just don't want to go to and ever get out of. So Yeah. Yeah, it's it's funny how like uh, I, I think sometimes that we we ha we have to create some of that on our own so we have some you uh, know material. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's man. It's, like, I'm running out of songs, you're, man. Uh, yeah, let's start a fight. I'm it's, running out of songs. I got to break up, you know. Or <laughs> yeah, oh. man. You yeah, I I can't say that I'm guilty of that recently. Uh, mm -hmm. By by recently, I mean today, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Tomorrow's a different day, I suppose. Yeah, um, well, I think Clapton said, uh, you know, every day he tries to find something to suffer about. I guess that's, you know, how he plays the blues. So He, he found it, too. He mm -hmm. found things to suffer about. There's, yeah. no, there's no doubt about that. Clapton knew how to... How to how to trash himself pretty hard yeah he's had a he's had a history yeah uh, so anyway so wisconsin part two uh was kind of my it's not so bad i'm not actually that upset kind of thing um it's also slightly ex-girlfriend related but it's a little bit more uh, on the lines of um a little bit more it's okay i was upset i'm not as upset anymore have a have a good one see you later maybe maybe not you know but right. kind of like a closure kind of thing right. more than just uh, i'm gonna be mad at you forever kind of thing yeah um so because i i realized that 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 when you write songs about people you know and they're either really happy or they're really sad and something changes over time mm. you know i, I kind of have that on both sides of the spectrum i got happy songs about people and then all of a sudden you know, things aren't so happy anymore afterwards. Well, do you still play that song? Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to hear it. <laughs> like, you know, but, uh, you know, so so that was kind of like, that was my way of closing that door and just saying, 
Sorry, I wrote a song about you. <laughs> hey, Frampton has to go out and play "Baby, I Love Your Way" every you know. <laughs> it's, man, it's, uh, what's, who what's knows? The, what's, speaking of Clapton, it was Clapton and Harrison's been writing songs about the same girl. You know? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they both, they both got a probably a couple hits out of that whole fiasco. Yeah. By the way, that's a great documentary if you haven't no, seen it. No, what's the name of that one? The George Harrison documentary. Oh, really? Seen it. Yeah, yeah. Is it recent? A good uh, recent release? Um, when was it? 2010, maybe? Okay. Uh, so two, after, he, after yeah, he died? Yeah, after he died. And two, two DVD set. Uh, wow. Yeah. A lot of material. Yeah. It's, it's probably the best uh, that I've seen on the Beatles, too. Yeah. Like, you Interesting. Because he's the, like kind of the, the beetle that you didn't know that much about kind of thing yeah and he was uh, quiet he was always quiet but he was, he was on top of his game i mean he did a lot to that sound he made a lot of that sound work and yeah not just the song i mean the songs are great obviously but beetle's got a sound too and that was all him it you know it, it, it you after you see it you realize how much he did, really did contribute to the overall uh the whole like uh, spiritual trip thing they were on, and oh, I'm all sure. that too. And, yeah, because no, he was plugged whole, into that more than most, like even Robbie, afterwards. Robbie yeah. Shankar was really good friends, and it, it was it's really anyway. Yeah, but, but no, that was we, really. That's, it's, how much time do we got left in that? That's yeah, a great. That's a, a really a good. Uh, I there's been a few movies I've documentaries or movies I've watched, and that that one is like one that I go like, oh, you got to if you're a musician, watch it. It's probably you know there's been a lot of documentaries about the Beatles about you know, and stuff, and, and it probably is the best one that I've seen on the Beatles, but also the, you know, best the one only one I've seen about George, George Harrison that yeah. really just kind of talks about all that stuff and Clapton's in it and everything. It's really, really well, good. I'm very guilty of nerding out on Wikipedia for hours on end sometimes, yeah. and, <laughs> and it was it was probably a month ago now, but I... It's funny how much you think you remember or how much you know about them, and then because there's a ton of anthologies and you know there's obviously you're saying like this one's one of the better ones but there's tons of information like those people were all four of them have been documented like every day since they were 16 there's so much information about who they were as people and how kind of reactions they had and about a month ago i was looking into um ringo and paul visited george the last week before he died when when doctors kind of gave him hey this is this is what's going to happen here now. Mm -hmm. um, Paul and Paul and Ringo met up for the first time in decades, and went to. I think he was living in New York, and they had lunch, and they they kind of said their goodbyes. And there's just there's just so much information. You know, if you're really a, truly a fan of like the people as who they are and stuff, there's just it's just endless. It's mm -hmm. endless information. I just geeked out for hours. It was great. <laughs> Has, yeah. I, I learned a lot even that time and, and you know i mean i know it has nothing to do with the songs you know like what happened the week before he died has nothing to do about the song he wrote but they are you know you grow up with those people in your life like you think you know who they are and you stay attached and yeah. you hear about you know what their life is like and you think that you might have an inclination of what that's like and you know so you get attached to the personal side of the things just as much as the song so yeah yeah, yeah. so um you've been listening to uh adrian krakowski here on acoustic songs live yeah i got it man i nailed it hey you and, got uh, it now you have a gig uh, tomorrow night at uh, hambones correct I got, I got a gig tomorrow night at hambones uh with a guy named jamie kent out of boston uh, over at Mary Joe's Clubs. She's a wonderful, wonderful person in Pittsburgh that does a lot for local and national music in Pittsburgh. And um, so we're playing, uh, we're playing a late set. Um, so for those that are over at Mr. Small's tomorrow for some of the acoustic stuff, there's an earlier show at Mr. Small's at 7 p.m. tomorrow, and then we're going, we're getting started later. Uh, so it's kind of an after party, kind of a hang afterwards. So come on over to Hambones. 10 p.m. is when we're starting. Um, that's and in Lawrenceville. That's uh, in Lawrenceville, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, how long? What is about a couple of weeks before this gets posted? How how much will this get posted? Uh, uh, yeah, it, it, yeah. I'm I'm 
it, it shouldn't be longer than a week, actually, probably. Oh, really? Be okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, if you're watching the video, I, um, <laughs> uh, you'll probably miss tomorrow's show in Pittsburgh. But uh, we're, we're already looking into coming back in February as well. So uh, keep tabs on the website. There's, there's the first couple months of this year because of the CD release uh, this coming Tuesday. Um, the first couple months of this year are going to be a tour-heavy uh, schedule. So we're coming back in Pittsburgh, or at least we're planning on it from the time being. So uh, no details yet, but we'll be back a couple times. In the CD release, where is that? The Five Spot? Yeah, that's at the Five Spot in East Nashville. That'll be the full band show. Uh, the horn section's going to be coming out. Cool. Um, so it's it's the full band. It'll be uh, three, five, six-piece band. What date is that? Because uh, I have friends in Nashville. I don't hey, know if they're listening that's to great. This. Well, every Tuesday night... Um, you know, Tuesday's a big day for CD releases or record releases in general. Um, and so, coincidentally, uh, the five spot night is Tuesday night, is when everybody hangs out. Uh, a buddy of mine, Derek Hoke, uh, runs a showcase, kind of a showcase, kind of also just a hangout um, every Tuesday called Two Dollar Tuesday, where it's two dollar entry and two dollar beers. So it's a really cheap night, and so people take advantage, like myself. I take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. uh, but this particular time, I can't take as much of advantage because I have to be on stage. So oh, okay. uh, next Tuesday, uh, I'll be releasing a record. It's the 14th, and it's also a $2 Tuesday. So I'll be, uh, I'll be awesome. playing that night um, uh, to release the record the same night. So it'll be great. All right, cool. Yeah. cool. So uh, do you want to do another tune? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna do a record. Or blah, blah. I'm gonna do a song that is not on the record. Um, you know, as a writer, you're always working on new stuff. So, I uh, <coughs> excuse me. I uh, I'm gonna do something that that will be coming forth after after this record. So it's a new tune. So something even brand brand new. So. Okay. Cool. devil of a woman She keeps the demons waiting around for you at home Crank the fan and I watch the wind blow and I got a five and engine for When my patience grows thin and it starts to show Oh, fire, air, and simple and all my life, and all my life Feeling the worst coming up around the bend Better times Day to fight things, hell, day to fend Find a fixer down on West End When my patience grows seeing and it starts to show it Too many yes and not enough Maybe or no, maybe or no, maybe or no You bring the cheese and I bring the wine you bring dessert, I bring dining entertainment show, yeah. Glorify rare and simple. Nothing wrong with another occupational joke. No my life, no my life. Feeling worse coming up around the bend. Better times. Data five things they don't need to fend. I really should have seen it coming. She's seen the way she walks running away. Yeah. And look beyond all the smiles that she given, she gave to me. But I'm not a man begrudging. No, 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 no. I'm not a man for cussing, but freaking A, yeah. When she left her mother in the dead of winter, told her to stay, told her to stay. 
No my life, no my life. Being the worst coming up around the bend. Better time. Day to five things they are day to fend. Cool, 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 cool. I was just looking over at uh, your uh, website and uh, American Songwriter. I saw this; they oh, had yeah. uh, featured you on the, their Daily Discovery. Yeah, they've been uh, they've yeah. been really uh, helpful over the last couple of months. Um, you know, they, uh, you know, I got a PR team now uh, out of Athens, Georgia, called Team Claremont, and they've been really fantastic as well. And I, I really don't know if it was Team Claremont uh, that got me in touch with in, with them or if it was just that Nashville is so plugged into their own local music. But, uh, you know, they found that I was I was releasing a record within the next couple months, and so they they, they pushed the song and they gave it a daily discovery. And, um, and I was uh, and all in the same week, I was also on Lightning 100's uh, radio station doing, uh, doing a live, uh, like a picnic series called Musician's Corner where a couple hundred people are sitting out in the, in the grass and there's a couple food trucks. Um, and that's a really great series too. And they both kind of just found me. Uh, they <coughs> found out I was releasing a record and I was new to town and I, was, I had a new band and that we were doing stuff and so they keep their eye their ear to the railroad tracks and so american songwriter and lightning 100 both they they both just uh they they they've been really helpful you know cool well so um you can go to american songwriter.com and and check out uh adrian's uh, write up there and or go to his website that's adrian a d r i a n Krogowski, it's uh, K R Y G O W S K I, and uh, a lot of find lot out of letters. <laughs> find out, find out more about Adrian where he's going to be uh, playing uh, coming up. I see you got some uh, gigs in your ho- hometown of DC, and you're also going to be in Philly, right? It looked like uh, Still City yes. Coffee House coming yes. up outside yeah, of Phoenixville. Phoenix, Phoenixville. Yeah, outside. Right. Yeah, yeah, that area. yeah. That's yeah. close to, to Philadelphia, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's that's kind of a um, a local singer songwriter type of thing people play there a lot so yeah i thought yeah. it would give you those two plugs because there's people and hey, i guess thanks. your hometown uh you know washington too. dc there's you know they're also very <clears throat> happy uh they've been really supportive of the move to nashville you know uh one of their own moving down there and making things happen and so every time i'm back in dc they're they're happy to have me and um, you know, I, I'm doing a couple, uh, this particular run, I'm doing a couple opening spots for some national, uh, headliners that are coming through town, uh, playing at six and I synagogue, which is a, a beautiful, beautiful, uh, space, um, playing at gypsy Sally's and a lot of, a lot of new spaces on this tour run. Um, last night I was at Southgate house in Cincinnati. Uh, that's the first time I've ever been there. Um, you know, that it'll be the first time I'm in Phoenixville. Uh, it's, I'm playing a place called Cafe 209 up, uh, man, where is that? That's in, um, where have I heard of that? Where is that? Before? That's, that's, that's a famous way place, right? Back up there. Yeah. And we're doing, uh, Chicago. No, no, it's, it's, it's further up in new England, but uh, a lot of, oh, a lot yeah. of new space. It's probably on the calendar somewhere. I, have no I was, idea, yeah, I was just looking at that somewhere online. Uh, it wasn't through your website either. It was a cap a two oh, or something. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my name's getting passed around. I, that's all you can ask for in this industry. So, yeah, you know, a lot of new spaces and, um, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy to be playing right now. I'm happy, you know, right now it's just me on solo this month. Uh, a couple of the DC shows are with bands, and the Nashville is with the full band, um, you know. And uh, we'll 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 hopefully get on some tours again. Last year, we tours were really good to us. Uh, we we did a small tour with Pokey Lafarge last summer, and we got to bring the band with us then. And and so some of those kind of things are getting picked up where we get to be the opening spot on a full run, cool. get to bring the band. But other than that, it's. It's hard. It's hard to bring multiple people with you on the road. Yeah, yeah, I, so. yeah. I've been thinking about that myself. <laughs> well, hey, I've been uh, really enjoyed having you in here today, Thanks and a lot, uh, we have Mitch. time for maybe like 
one more song if you want to take us out with something. Sounds if, uh, great. And uh, so uh, join us, uh, let's see, next week. Uh, yeah, we do have a sh- show next week. Um, a really good shoe next week. A good <laughs> shoe? Yeah, to do my best, uh, you know, uh, Ed uh, Sullivan. Oh, there you go. Really good shoe. Uh, I got two Andrea good shoes. Pa- Andrea Pays, I think, I think is how you pronounce her name. She's from D.C. area. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, pretty yeah, Hey, pretty there's sure a, you know, they're, they're growing. They're, they're, they're growing them by the weeds, you know. They're, yeah. I don't know everybody in town anymore. I, she, she, that's uh, great. That's fantastic. She was a former engineer, too. And, uh, <laughs> Wow, this right. is like, but she, uh, yeah, I, I had a uh, uh, listing on Sonic Bids, and people had uh, submitted through Sonic Bids, and then Sonic Bids went uh, down and redid their site like for a week, and didn't tell me, and didn't tell anybody, and I was like, okay, so now I got to, but anyway, uh, we have her next week, and uh, then we have a few weeks off. I, st- I stay away from Sonic. Bids. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I use them anyway. Uh, uh, thanks so much for sharing your thanks music, lot, and Mitch. it's been great having you here. Hey, it's and, been uh, fantastic to be back. It's been a long time, and hopefully not so long the next time. You know? Yeah, yeah. And what what are you going to take us out with? You going to song uh, off the record? Or? Yeah, I'll do a song off the record. Why not? Oh, right. Okay. Um, this is a song called Chicago, and I uh, my dad's all from the South Side, and uh, I was going to write a song for them. It was the first time I was playing in Chicago in a long time, uh, a couple of Thanksgivings ago, and. Uh, Some extra family came out to see me because it was the Friday after Thanksgiving, so I wanted to write a song for the occasion. So this is is a song about the great Chicago fire. Catherine's on the front porch smoking a last cigarette. The pot's on the stove and the furnace can't keep on its own. Mama's doing crosswords, daddy's in his rocking chair. Let the barn door burn, ring the telegraph telephone. Built a good life here, little piece of heaven. Blue sky shine, God's own nation. Chicago, I've been waiting on sunrise for way too long. Chicago, I've been waiting on sunrise for way too long. Order actor is closing shop on this main street. The butcher's busy carving up a new stock of lamb. They take pride in the way to the box of memory and leave it all to chance on a borrowed Uncle Sam. We built a good life here, a little piece of heaven. See the smoke and hear the screams from the fire engine. Chicago, I've been waiting on the sunrise way too long. Chicago, I've been waiting on a sunrise way too long.
on this pop bench waiting for a train to come For a city all boarded up on the aftermath and these rewrites They take pride in the weight of the box of memories Be a hard one in the old town tonight Tonight, built a good life here, a little piece of heaven. See the smoke and hear the screams from the fire engine. Chicago, I've been waiting on the sunrise for way too long. Chicago, I've been waiting on a sunrise. Way too long All right, thanks again. This is uh, Acoustic Songs Live from WNJR in Washington, Pennsylvania. Thanks, Mitch.